Just so you know, last time the judge wanted, wanted to give him a fifty million dollar fine yeah. for not giving him a, a guy. Yes. So. <clears throat> that might happen, and then he will lose the prison, and then he will be screwed forever. So. How do you lose what nobody wants? I know. I know. Bobby will find a way. Come to my attention that I should probably apologize. <laughs> so here I am. I am uh, sorry for my lack of intelligence when it comes to identifying languages as soon as I hear them. I will do better. <laughs> and I it will not happen again. Hey, thanks. Thumbs up. Oh, did it double Thank down. You, Thank you, Thanks, to I, uh, you. We'll, we'll be 20 back. social credits your way. Arigato. Thanks. Uh, on another note, uh, when it comes to the sewers, you know, just, we're just going to take a swift misdirect and go that way. Um, I know we were like planning on like raiding or something. Like, are you still trying to do that, Denzel? Yes, like... I am 1000%. If you give me the clearance, sir, I will have a fucking team ready to go every well, well once a week oh, for three weeks every month oh that's a great for idea yeah, fantastic yeah. uh but we're not gonna do that unfortunately <laughs> um pretty much the only circumstances in which the mayor's office would like us go to go down there are you know if we're obviously hot pursuing someone down there we witness somebody <clears throat> go down there like with our own eyes or we witness somebody coming out in which they should just be arrested for felony trespassing. And that's the whole situation we're around that. So I could be going down there just in mass teams and just cleaning out the sewers, at least at this time, because people live down there and they want to keep it intact, at least for the time being. Anita? Yeah, I have a question, Chief. So um, someone was saying that if we don't have the proper equipment, uh, it could, we could actually uh, feel safe and so on. Would we still pursue in those conditions? Uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, if you don't have the proper equipment and it's not safe, I would not pursue. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 safety wait. first. Now, Keep a gas to, mask in your, in, your in your pocket. Okay, man. you can play devil's advocate with the messenger. Sure. Now, what happens if, if this shoot another mayor, not this current mayor, because I know some people don't like the current mayor, another mayor, okay, that is... You know, uh, and they run down there, and we don't have a gas mask. Well, we just let them go because we don't, or we're doing our jobs. You shoot them before they get down there. But why would we? You know, what? I mean, do I understand this properly? What you just asked? If yeah. Somebody shot the mayor, and then they try and yeah. run down there. Yeah. But then, what happens if they got down there though? Do we just? Uh, I mean, the courthouse and the, the mayor's office. I mean, the. the, the the sewers in the mayor's office is pretty pretty close. So I'm not well, saying you can't mean, go I'm down just, there. The argument is that it's dangerous. So I, I, don't you go, I don't think if you go, I don't think if you go down in the sewers, you're just gonna like die. But it's if you go down there and you're, yeah. you know, you don't feel good, then yeah, leave. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I got, I mean, I got shot at for doing a traffic stop. So okay. We'll just have well, a gas real, real mask quick. in the car or something like yeah, that. Yeah, so hang on, real quick. We we are working on getting a, a whole ass outfit put into SOPs mm -hmm. for that stuff. Mm -hmm. So don't worry, eventually we'll have I that. Will. We're also looking what? into the fact that we could possibly have a duffel bag in the back of our car that we, we can hopefully one. quickly... We, we, we do have one, right, do Dana? Yeah, d yeah, oh, yeah. Dana, Dana set that up like week oh, two. Yeah. Uh, hang on, yeah. No. But I've been asked to get like a standardized thing ready. I'm gonna get people working on that to go in the SOPs. So yes, some people have that because some people went down, but there's nothing in the SOPs about it yet. So I mm. need to work on that to get it put it in there. Yeah, that's the reason why we're getting all the numbers and stuff mm. is because clothing clothing racks changed and all that jazz, right? So. <clears throat> So eventually awesome. we should have equipment ready to go down there. But like Beric said, if you're seeing them go towards a uh, manhole cover and you've seen them shoot and they're running away, then you're going to be shooting them hopefully before they tip down. they got to open it first, right? So as they open it, then I'd probably shoot them. Mm -hmm. You know, just, it. just use logic and uh, you know, what you've oh, been trying to do. Good faith belief. Yeah, that whole thing. Uh, okay. 
So I know a lot of people have problems with, you know, this, that, and the other things that have happened in regards to the mayor. Now, what I'm going to ask at this time is that for everyone's <clears throat> security, because I don't want anything to happen to anybody, what I ask is that for the time being, if you have major issues or, you know, just big opinions on certain things, that you filter them through any of the sergeants or myself and Ruby and let us take care of them in as most of a constructive way as we possibly can so that nobody gets in trouble and there's no issues and we don't muddy the water even more than it already is. Because ultimately, I know a lot of you in this room, myself included, will do this job regardless of how much we get paid and regardless of how much this, that, and the other, you know, quota system, insert whatever it might be. But I just ask that we start filtering these things appropriately so that nobody else has to get in trouble. And the rest of the PD is not punished for things that you might say or, you know, actions you might take, which he feels offended by. That's all that I ask. Uh, can I just add to that? Is that saying that we don't want anybody here going directly to the mayor to talk about these issues? Because I fear that... You can go you directly know... to the mayor the or the deputy mayor. The only thing that I ask is... A try and, uh... is... Call him glorious leader, please. <laughs> you can go directly to the mayor or the deputy mayor. All that I ask is that when you do that, try and provide solutions and constructive feedback rather than, you know, just essentially like you're shouting at them or this, that, and the other, which is how they feel it's being received to some extent. That's I'm not I entirely ask. sure that I know of anybody who has just decided to shout at a mayor. Yeah, I don't know either. I have seen but... the mayor just shout yeah. back for no reason, but yeah, okay. Yeah, but that's all that I ask. And if what? you don't feel comfortable pushing the stuff yourself, push it through us, and we will. It's amazing. What if, you know, uh, our encounters with the mayor is just him berating us and then threatening to dock our pay or take our jobs? Because that has happened at least twice. Wait, that sounds so... like conversations I've had. What? Wait, hold up. If he's our supervisor, he's part of the PD, if I can get dabbed for my twat, can't can't we dab him for behavior True. unbecoming of a police officer? The city, we're not gonna go down this rabbit hole. Mm. Can I report this? No, that was a few days ago when the mayor not, threatened to dab me. <clears throat> we're not gonna go through this uh, just circle over and over again. It's not I much of a circle. Just, I just ask you to be the bigger person, as we should just in general. It's well, hard I'm, when like, they I'm stoop curious. so low. We can both stoop so low. I know. Are we I allowed know. to ticket him? Are we still allowed to do our job? Yes. Because the thing is, like, Take the reason... In. Okay. Because it, it's been threatened before. I know at a traffic stop that you were involved in, okay. he was threatening you. Bones was well, threatened. Well, if we keep ticketing him and he keeps just lowering our pay, that just builds a case against him that we can push to the city council. So that's what I'm concerned about, though, is that uh, we don't have the proof of when he lowers the pay, and he's also denied lowering it, but at points it it was lowered. And the only reason why we know that is when collecting paychecks, right? How do we then prove that we did a 10-hour shift? We, we don't, because we don't have a clock-in sheet or anything. Oh, so... then I'd say that's up to both myself, Ruby, and our esteemed PD liaison to figure that out, to figure out some kind of way to be able to identify these times. But all that I'm asking is that you don't fuck up other things for other people. That's all that I'm asking. Don't make matters worse for the people next to you. That's all that I'm asking. If you have questions about this, um, Chief and I will stay behind the meeting. Um, otherwise, I do have something that I need to discuss with the PD. Um, could Johnson, I'm sorry, could someone let Johnson out because this is, uh, he's not an officer at the moment and I, I really have something to talk about. Uh -oh. 
Um, so 4297, report 4297. I want you all to know how extremely important it is when we find weed. Uh, and the reason why uh, it is important to note down the strain is because if you look a little bit further, we're finding a correlation between people, gangs, groups, possibly grow groups who are doing certain strains of weed. And it is very important. This is going to help us shape. Um, I, I don't know if you've noticed, but I have seen over the last three days an extremely large increase of drug sales. Wakanda We've got Cy tank fuel? We've got yeah. Cypress Flats. I literally chased three of those very fast batty bikes all around the new construction in Cypress Flat. Oh, Polito is popping off. Sandy, drug sales endlessly. Mm -hmm. Forum, the barrio. Uh, with these kind of numbers today, I would love to see uh, groups of people head to an area, uh, take some, uh, you know, photos, find some information out, hunt these people down. I know we have issues with sanitation at the moment and people being shot and awful things like that, but this weed is growing and it's really important that we can get to shape our police work by looking at where these groups are selling and what they're growing. And I'm not answering my phone. Uh, any questions? Yeah, I've got one. Yeah. Uh, if anyone wants to help me fundraise towards a canine unit, please let me know because I would love to get canine out there to deal with this crap because unless we actually see them doing anything and, you know, get the evidence that we need to, we quite often find them leaving an area and then pull them over sort of thing. If we had canine, we'd be able to catch a hell of a lot more people with a lot more shit. There's a lot of it moving around. <clears throat> there has been for the longest time, but, uh, yeah, we're, we're really struggling to pull that in. And Eric? War on drugs would be so much easier if we had canine. Woo! Canine, yes. I have a question. What's the quote on weed related stuff? And ask uh, him. He he's gonna look into it. Okay, so right now they don't give any quota. Then I'm not no. interested. <laughs> I, well, I, well, that's not nice. I agree. Because usually, usually. Just weed. Oh, that's punch oh, the edge. Let it out. Let it out. You know what, Ruby? I got you on this. I got you on this. Trig, we didn't want ISO either, but here we are. Oh. 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 Actually, we voted for ISO. In the back. We did actually. Yeah. yeah no. Mm -mm. We, we no. Kind of voted for ISO. No. Yeah, it was wrong. It was wrong. Fourteen or so. No, it was wrong. But it's okay. It's okay. You have skill issues. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, oh. all right. I have something oh, okay. on the weed thing. Um, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <sighs> I would like to share that in a way, so shape, bored. or form, I'm related with the Anita weed train. Okay? Oh. It, it does Anita. not come back. Mm. It does Anita not come back to Anita. me. It does not. It is not related to me at all. I didn't do it. I swear I am not cultivating weed and selling. Okay, guys? Sounds Sunny. like something a I cultivator would say. <laughs> do, you, do you have haters? Like, do they? What? Are they just? If they're, are they smoking on that Anita pack? Like, do you have haters or are they I fans? Don't like this. I don't like this at all. Okay. No well, thank you. I'm getting my pack. Okay. The, this what? He said I'm getting dab. On for way too long. Anything PD Fuck related, off. otherwise Beric and I um, will be here. What I said. Yeah. There's no way. Yep. Uh, just real quick. Um, when I was uh, getting my car repaired at Milton's Mod, I went to. Put something in the trash in, in their trash bin in the back of their building and there, there was 64 uh weed weed bags in there so um started to look around a little bit more at milton's mod right now so if somebody has some information about that it'd be amazing oh i got you that tied with awesome sounds good. a lot of shit frost i got you. i got something if i could uh, oh, Cassidy. okay Cassidy, go first super quick i'm so sorry um, please, 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 God, please, if you're in a Taurus, please mark it in dispatch. It makes everything so much harder if you're not marked. Ask People ask, and, and you have to ask permission, please. Thank you. 
Hi, right, everybody. It's me, Dana. Hi, 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 Dana. Hello, Hi, Dana. everybody. Hi, Dana. The, uh, hello. Well, Hi, Dana. Well, today... Hi, guys. Hi, Dana. Hi, Dana. <clears throat> hello. Hi, Dana. Is this thing on? Hi, Dana. Is it on? It's on. Potential blood in Hi, Dana. You sure? Is they... Dana. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Guys. Hi, Dana. The day has arrived where... Yeah, it's um, Good Friday. Woo! It's Friday. Oh, yeah, it's Friday. Yeah. Today, today's, a good day. today's a good day. Today's a good day. Okay. Um, today was my last shift in this police apartment. And I'm uh, very proud to say that uh, I've been here since the beginning. And uh, not only I've enjoyed being with everyone that started with me, but also everybody that came after me. And uh, I'm very proud of you guys. Uh, I I have the the f firm belief that you guys are going to carry this through. It's going to make this amazing. And uh, you guys are going to kick ass out there. What the fuck? Are you so retiring? You quit halfway through? Wait, halfway? Dana, you only plan on being here six your months. Work. Thank you so much for your what do you mean half? Very appreciated. <clears throat> Thank you so much for everything. Thank you, Dana. Thank you for serving. Thank you for serving. Thank you, Dana. Thank Thank you, Dana. Dana. Thank well, you guys just don't care? Dan, Dan, listen. Gonna you gotta respect uh, people's decisions. Uh, we already dealt with this Turner. It's, it, yeah. Yeah. Hey, wait, 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 time, time out. Time out. Time out. To speak. Out of all the months, you're not gonna understand her decision. He does have a point. Want to talk about this? Take it outside. Let Let Dana have her moment, please. As my last thing, I would like to do in front of you all. I would like to do, if a Cornwood would allow me, one last. Pledge Absolutely. of Allegiance. Thank nah. you. Alright, all rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, America. 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 and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation, one nation, one nation under, God, under God, 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 indivisible, with liberty, with liberty, and, with liberty and, justice and justice for all. For all. Amen. Amen. Honor the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas One state. Under God. Under God. One indivisible. Amen. The state of mind Hell yeah. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, And who knows? Maybe one day I'll return. But for now, this is going to be my goodbye. Don't be a lustic. Oh, you're what do you so mean, what do I don't mean? think he's gonna go do crime. I don't think he's gonna go do crime. How does that mean? Thank you for serving. That's what he said. That's what he said. That's what he said. No, I'm not gonna do crime. I think. Yeah, that's what Lucas said. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna work in my police apartment back home, so no, I'm not gonna do crime. Cool. Okay. Thank Easy. you so much for everything. Thank you for your Thank service, Dana. You've been Thank a you guys. Thank, for you. Thank you, Dana. Dana, if you, you ever do crime, I'm putting you in jail forever. Just letting you know. I'm not doing that, Sheriff. I would never do that. Okay, absolutely. Sheriff? Well, okay. Now we're going down a dangerous road. Great meeting, guys. Great meeting. Let's get out there. It's going to be a fucking fantastic day. Let's Woo! get out there. Yeah! Let's, out there. Oh, let's, let's go! Any drug stuff. Let's go, boys. I'm not gonna adapt, uh, right? Uh, uh, question. Listen, listen. Hi. Do we have a do we have a gender? Oh, yeah, Who's the guy? Who's the guy cleaning it? There's no way. Eric. The he fact that you haven't said no yet is concerning. Well, I initially did say no. But here's my thing. If you want to use this as ammunition, I'll do it. Uh, it... And either way, even if we do, I mean, quite honestly, I was just going to give them to you to give him what he wants and then just take him off when he uh, is out of office. Just so that he doesn't punish other people for me saying no to him. My my concern is, like, I don't want to say the the precedent that it sets forward, but like, yeah, I know. if you were to not push back on this, 
anytime someone disagrees for any reason, what, what is he gonna? What, what was his justification behind it? Uh, that it was unbecoming of a police officer. <laughs> uh, what was what was supposed to be held to a higher standard? What was unbecoming? Has he read our essentially, SOPs? Sl essentially slandering the mayor. Okay, has he read our SOPs? Probably not. Okay. Um. Hmm. <sighs> I mean, let me just read this off to you. Off-duty law enforcement officers have no authority over the citizens of Los Santos and Blaine County. An off-duty law enforcement officer cannot issue lawful orders to citizens or take the law into their own hands. In off-duty situations, you'll be treated as a civilian. Um. <clears throat> And then it goes on to mention, you know, uh, felonies, you know, having stuff, whatever. Uh, and then it indicates, um, you know, the first one might be a little iffy, okay? Um, must always conduct yourself professionally on and off duty. Yeah, that's the part. As you are a direct reflect. Yeah, but don't worry. I've already clarified. M these opinions are my own uh, and do not reflect the LSPD. Um. So uh, now nah, I think I'm good. I I think I'm good. That I I don't even think that broke that one. <laughs> yeah, I mean you're not mm -hmm. wrong. Yeah, yeah. No, I, listen, I agree. I agree. But I mean, if we're gonna go down this route, is he not technically considered an off-duty law enforcement officer? I do not believe so. Uh, when the Ruth stuff happened, what office, what were his uh, what were his three one ones or nine one ones? What were they again? <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> Do you I, I it's just hmm one, one moment, one moment. Uh let's find this. Uh oh, I don't know what the report was. Do you th this was a Ruth situation back then, wasn't it? Or no. I'm pretty sure the report is like a city council situation or something like that. Was it a report or an incident? Do you know? Should have been a report. <laughs> yeah, 2729. Report or incident? Uh, report. I can't see 2729. That is odd. I just, uh, maybe put in a search city council situation and then scroll down. What was it again? 2729. City council situation. 27. Two, no, it is not there for me. It is tagged as something that I cannot see. Right. Uh, you mind reading yeah, off his 311s or 911s? They are all like not in the proper format, so hold on. I'm just gonna, oh. gonna give you like 10 bucks. Just give me a minute. Alright, you should be able to see it now. That's still a problem. Why? Did that cost some big ass bucks? Maybe, maybe it cost some big ass bucks. No, he did. I initially said that I would, uh, I would not do anything, and his response was, "Well, I'll tell him that Why? if he continues, yeah. I'll come for his job." So. Forum city. Well, there's a surefire way to ensure he doesn't ever become the mayor again. That's for him to have a felony. Like reckless driving. And apparently he's a reckless driver. As far as I'm aware. I know he got arrested for some like crazy night or something like that at one point. Um. Oh, damn. 
Yeah, I mean, this all sounds like, uh, you know, behavior and communication unbecoming of a mayor. I think it's a person who would probably want to make that. Yeah, I mean, he's <laughs> technically not a cop. He's the mayor's office is just a, above the chief. Of police. The office or the mayor? Mayor's office is what I mean. Like. Wait, really? But I believe that's how the legislation reads out. Oh, please yeah, tell me said, it's worded that way. Please tell they, me. They amended it like the day, the day of the, like the whole situation. Oh my God! Wait, wait, wait! No, no, that's actually good. Hold on. Wait. One moment. Yeah, examples of the powers that the mayor's office reserves, but are not limited to. So. Mayor's office. So you're telling me, if him and Michael. Don't agree? Oh my god. If it's actually written that way? Where is it under legislation for the, the mayor shit? Uh, why am I... Continuity plan. Uh, right here. Okay. So the mayor's office uh, then states with both the mayor and deputy mayor acting in the capacity on behalf of the state, which means they both have equal power, which means but there's a he can't. One. They will always side on, with him. No, 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 no. Not even that. There is no third. All it says is with both the mayor and deputy mayor acting in this capacity on behalf of the state. There's two people. Oh, so not the, the chief of staff. Okay. Oh my God. I'm calling Michael. Why don't I have his number? I don't know. Oh, I am. Oh my God. We were worried about the mayor this whole time. It's the mayor's office and there's two of them acting as the mayor's office, which means yeah. I'm just going to have to get him to run everything by Simone. And here's the reality. If Simone wants PD's vote next election, guess what? He's going to want the PD. And their vote. I mean, did he shoot you or something like that years ago? Yeah. Listen, I can forgive and forget. But I can't. Yeah. I can't let a terrorist become a terrorist twice. That's fair. That's fair. You're not wrong. Wrong. Yeah, he may come for my job, but that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, well, um, as far as I'm concerned, um, I'm probably not gonna do it unless I get uh, like press the bottom. Uh, and if he approaches me and says, "How how are your daps? How many daps you got?" I'll say one. Yeah, but if I don't have any, I'd be lying, and then he'd fire me himself, wouldn't he? Uh, I mean, there's no other way to track that other than a report right now. So, mm, but, like but, I said, but what if I just lying. tell him none? Sure, why not? What if I tell him I'm on a um? I'll just change my mind the same way he changed his mind on the quota system. <laughs> how much we get paid? Oh my gosh, this is the barrack I want to see. Um. I have Listen, I have an idea I'm behind the justification. Able to fight if there's a fight to be fought, if it's winnable. You know what? What if we just tell him I'm on a performance improvement plan? <laughs> I'll try my best to not do it again. I promise. Right. And if I if I reoffend in the next month, I will accept my daps. Yeah, we gotta show improvement, right? Exactly. Exactly. We've spoken to it now, and we'll see how it goes. Um, now, here's the thing: we're going to find out very quickly whether or not the deputy mayor is in, you know, cahoots with the mayor, because if he starts nodding and agreeing to everything that's happening, then we have a problem. That means he is working with him, and that's problematic. This is why I don't. Uh... I don't know, I'm on the fence about this being a winnable fight or not because, I don't know. But what's going to happen? Michael is he going to get rid of you? With him on a lot of things. 
I mean, he has the ability to. Uh, right, but who's he going to put in your spot, Ruby? In Ruby gets put in your spot. You, number one, do you think she'll take it, given what has already happened? Yeah, probably. It's all right. I'll just go be the owner sheriff then. But anyway. Oh. The point. Um, oh, wait. That's not bad. Yeah. I mean, actually, yeah. This is perfect. <laughs> oh, I think there's a line of people waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> but, yeah, so. no. I Listen, I'll agree to be on a performance improvement plan. And we'll try my best to not twat on my own time about the mayor, okay? Okay. Now, but what if I start twatting really over the top in support of the mayor? Clearly satire. Is that too much? Hey, Kit Leon. Yeah, I mean... I love the mayor, clowny face. To take the one thing that you desired. In this <laughs> yeah, he can go fuck himself. He took it. I'm he taking it, it back. You. One way or another. All right. I'm going to find Simone and ask him. Because he put that there. <sighs> yep, they're putting it away. Oh, I'm so Was I holding up the line? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm a sorry. Bit, a little bit. A little I'm, bit. I'm you sorry. You saved in my, in my dispatch. Thank you. <sighs> maybe you oh. should uh, do some ISO reports while you are at it. Yeah, well, maybe oh, you should stop away, being in... Here's a here's a, a formal warning. Uh, you you are facing an adop uh, uh, for uh, failure to do police uh, reports documentation. Really? Yep. Okay. Uh, but that, this is only a warning. If I see you do it again, and I will read every report you do, Rhodes. No, oh, I'm if, so afraid. If you see. If I see a single one with uh -huh. an ISO infraction, I'm gonna uh, give you a dop. Um, sure. I did. I did it before bed. Retort. 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 Do it again. Do it. I, I. I can't. I'm on a performance improvement plan. <laughs> Fuck off. What was, what was the retort? Who? Oh, I. Uh. Let me take a look. Uh, Lang Buddha tweeted, hide in your big tower and argue whether it should be called months or minutes, you useless prick. Hashtag get rid of this mayor. And I retwatted it. To which the mayor called me and told me I would be getting uh, daft, essentially. Oh, my God. Oh, so now I'm on shift, a performance improvement shift. plan. What? I've been waiting for you. Oh, good luck. Okay. <laughs> Are you off duty? Oh, I'm going 42, yeah. Okay, alright. Well, yeah, I have to, unfortunately. But... That's a... What it... Please <laughs> don't... <laughs> Are you good? Oh, yeah, no, I'm good. You know what I just found out? What? All of this power that the mayor has belongs to the mayor's office, which is two people. Him and Simone. Mm -hmm. I How just need he... to get Simone on our okay. side. He's not on our side. He, he's... It seems to be drinking the mayor Kool Aid. Are you running with Suarez? Mm, Hold on, he needs to stop drinking the mayor's Kool Aid if he wants any of the PD's vote. Well, you, is he running? I don't know. He ran last time. That's how he got his position. He lost. He's the first loser. Well, Solomon Walker is also running. Don't you like that guy, or, is, or am I thinking of someone else? Yeah. Well, well yes. Oh. I just happened. No, it's not like that. It's not like that. But I, I do happen to be gating him, but it's not because... <laughs> <laughs> like, how can I promote someone? Yeah, the optics are outside bad. Outside of work. Yeah, it is. But so is Beric saying that he's going to charge the chief, the captain with treason and then him getting elected what chief of police. Um... <laughs> so, you know. Yeah. He was ordered by the mayor to charge Ruth with treason and then he was elected chief of police you know one of those things so you mean when the mayor was 3 one one uh a Arrest bunch of yeah I don't know it seems like uh something unbecoming of a mayor anyways I have to go oh, unfortunately you, <laughs> you live with um I'm up north 
Yeah, you live you live do you live with Barrett? Yep. Okay, you next time you see him at home, tell him to bring his spine into work next time, okay? Oh my gosh. Ooh. We'll put our stuff away. When, when I pulled out the other ones, it was like a... Uh, Don't mind me. They were bad as well. I mean, I, I think I pulled them out and just left them there. For other, I, or I pulled them out for somebody else. Yeah. Some, yes, yeah, and then and then they don't go repair them. But then my my state ID shows them. I was like, well, shit, I only drive my own car. Right. Well, yeah, I know the VSTR is in your name, so that's why I was just letting you know. I drove yeah. it for a little bit today for a pursuit of a um, gauntlet. Is that what it is? The one that looks oh. like a damn Challenger. Oh um, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I had it for like 15 minutes and um, came to bring it back, put a toolkit on, you know, and checked it, and it was in like 65 percent. I was like, holy. Fuck, there's no way. Yeah. But I fixed it up, it's all good. I yeah. I get I get my fire switch if I'm not ready. Just fair let you know though. She's ready to roar. You know you know what you should do? You should just get your own parts. Like Yeah, I am. Um so I'm a master mechanic and I can put them on and Watt's been making them. And we have a house to go right now with like two benches, so we're gonna start pumping out parts. Yeah, and then you can just when you get to a safe spot, you can now if I'm being I can put them in honest, I can put them in right in the damn MRPD garage. Yeah, if if I'm being hundred percent honest. I would prefer to go to Mowgli's. Because yeah, I, we do. I, I like I like seeing them folks. The problem is, is sometimes it's like a risk assessment association. Oh There's yeah. There's like too much shit going on. You got to go from point A to point B, and yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, that's but, why I was fixing the cars earlier because um, what's his name? Fredo Rollins made a credible threat against Shiesty. We rolled five deep there, and they were it was Fredo. Um, mm. I forget the other two names, but all three of them were standing in Mowgli's garage door, just looking at Shiesty. Yeah. So we brought all the cars back here and I fixed them. Well, there you go. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm, I, I gotta get out there because I only got yep. like an hour and a half today. So I'm. I'm. All right, I'm, I'm gonna uh, go with one. I'm gonna crack wood today. Oh. I feel bad for any criminals out there right now. <laughs> hey guys. All right, so. We will get our report written later regarding the situation here. Four three four nine. Uh, good night, Ken. You too, sir. Thank Have you. a good one. I know this gets long, but I just wanted to make sure you were okay. I think we're good. Fuck, I can't leave without. Yeah, it's me. Hell? What? Oh my god. What? Super casual, you know? <laughs> very oh casual. yeah, the, listen, this is this is my my my, you know, I'm about to commit a crime without a mask fit. I was going to say all black. You're all, you're all dressed in black with a backwards cap. That's what I I'm saying. Not... Holy Are crap, I didn't expect that. Listen, I got to blend in. The mayor. Whoa. Did you saw what I put on your profile? No, what what was it? I put opinions expressed on Twitter <laughs> are solely from Matt Wolf and not expressed to views or opinions as well. Please. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Nice. Yeah, Perfect. Perfect. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate that. I am uh I'm heading home and uh Okay. You know what? All right. Listen. He he might go low, but I'm I'm petty enough to go lower. 
All right. That is true. Oh, okay. Also, I don't think I don't think he can. Life. By the way, I don't think. Let me let me just verify. Yeah. So, uh, somebody told me the other day that he oh, can't pick that up. That he um, recklessly drives all the time, and apparently he just recently bought a super fast car. <laughs> oh, I heard it on Gossip Time Girl. to stay calm. Guess what? If he gets a felony, he can't be the mayor. Unless he gets put on a plane like his wife did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which will probably mm -hmm. happen. Let's let's be honest. I just don't see him losing this position. Well. Kind of sucks. I also figured kinda something sucks. else out. The powers belong to the mayor's office, which actually belongs to two people, him and Mr. Simone. Mr. Simone is so far up that man's ass. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to tell you. No. Oh. Well, uh, did you just call? Yeah, can I talk to you really quick? Yep. Okay. Where are we going? Uh, Upstairs. Oh. Ooh, gotta go. All right, goodbye. <laughs> What's up? Uh, so I have multiple things. Okay. Uh, are you doing all right, by the way? I don't, I'm... Am I doing all right? Um, well, let me rephrase that. Uh, how awful are you right now? Um, I mean, I hate, I hate what's happening, but uh, like, I feel like there aren't enough, like, outspoken, forward people in his face to tell him that he's dumb. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I understand that. Uh, so. Part of that is definitely what I wanted to speak to you about. Okay. Um, firstly, I know that people keep saying, uh, you know, impeachment. Uh, I've heard that said quite a few times. That, not just that's not going to happen TV. anytime soon. And we're so close to the end, it's not even worth it. I don't disagree with you, but I just wanted to clarify, and I don't know if other people know this, but that is not something that the council does. Uh, that would have to be an officer who has... Uh, documented and corroborated what they be believe to be a dereliction of his duty or uh, outright corruption based on his behavior and uh, evidence. And then they would put that on the docket. Yeah. I. Uh, which, you know like what you would saying, be easier? I've been told he's a reckless driver. Yeah, he's a psycho. Yeah. And that's a felony. And that prevents him from being the mayor again, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, it would. Yeah. I'm just saying. And apparently he just bought a new a new fancy supercar. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. You think fancy supercar and psycho driver will not equal reckless driving? Because I guarantee you it will. Uh, I think that if you were around at the right time, you would definitely see that car recklessly driving. Oh my gosh. The thing is, he would fire me. It wouldn't even matter because he would have nothing to lose. He wouldn't be able to get reelected. That's well, the only issue. But if he tries to fire you for a reckless driving infraction. Oh, he would articulate it some other way. You know that. Maybe. He tried getting me dapped on that twat for like the something, that's something insane. unbecoming I mean, of a police officer. <laughs> that's insane. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Um, Secondly, I wanted to talk to you about uh, my position as liaison. Okay. Uh, I know that you are not afraid to be blunt, and I know that uh, you're not going to sugarcoat things for me. Um, I'm a little perturbed, I would say, because I keep being told that there are people within this PD who are unhappy about some of the things that I'm either not doing to their knowledge or doing. Uh, people don't think that I'm forwarding the PD's best interests. And when I try to ask who these people are and why none of these people have come to me, uh, I basically get crickets. Uh, to which my response was, I'm not a mind reader. Right. And if people don't come to me and tell me what the issues are, then I can't address them or give them right. an explanation on why they're not feasible. Right. Uh, has it been your experience that people have said this? Um, not exactly. I may have heard something 
it was like not there was no specifics there wasn't like any one situation um i don't recall when it, it wasn't like super recent not to my knowledge but well Slack um, told me yesterday that there is a group of people who don't think i'm because i'll tell you this is uh, i'll explain can i explain it to you i don't want to go ahead you too long i'm sorry uh, when this position first happened, uh, I went in there, and the first thing that was an issue in the PD was the people were getting their vehicles clamped, right, by civilians. Mm -hmm. uh, so I wrote the tow legislation, I came up with the tow law, and that got implemented straight away. Uh, then cops were getting chain robbed and stabbed every day for their equipment. So I rewrote the law enforcement robbery and the possession of the firearm to make it crippling on people if they did it, and that got implemented. Uh, then I rewrote a bunch of other laws as far as uh, firearm components, civilian firearms, if they were getting robbed once those got introduced. Uh, Suarez and McMahon came to me a while back about G6 getting robbed over and over, and I had uh, Joaquin Jimenez also calling me. So I wrote robbery of a security firm and possession of cash, and I introduced that, and that got voted on and got passed. And I, there's a bunch of other these. So bills. what you're saying is, oddly enough, the things that people actually brought to your attention got addressed, but people expect you to be a mind reader and acknowledge the issues across all three shifts without ever speaking to you, uh, and then complain as a result. Correct, but it's yeah, also... that sounds valid. That sounds that's exactly how I expect people to be. Yeah, and there's also I think this misconception that. Uh... I don't know if people forgot that the mayor legislated him the, the head of us, but I think people expect me to go into those meetings and, like, scream at him face to face, uh, which, one, is not my personality, and two, is not going to do anything to benefit us other than get our pay lowered probably immediately after. Oh, I'm sorry. We would, we would, be, we would be paying the mayor to work if I was there. I, you know, it's a good thing you have a filter because, <laughs> oh, I don't. Yeah. No, well, I mean, and that that works well for you. But I was told by my high command throughout this entire process to keep my cool and my professionalism, even as he's screaming at captains that they're dumb fucks to their faces, right? Um, but the issue is, is I think people perceive that as me being soft and not me being tactful, which is what I was told to do. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I think I think you, you would probably fully understand this. Um, uh, it's more so people are going to act based upon the information they have. And if they are not privy to sort of the insider, you've been instructed to do this a specific way to avoid any issues, then they're going to, you know, they're not going to sit there and acknowledge that that conversation ever existed and that you're literally just following exactly what you were told to do. Um, and you're going to catch unnecessary flack. I'm going to be real. <laughs> I don't know how unpopular or popular of an opinion this is. Um, Ruth was not a bad person. At all. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly with you. And in saying that, I only ran into Ruth a handful of times, but I could tell based upon every conversation I've ever had with her that she never had any bad intent. And despite that, she resigned. I mean, obviously, given, you know, the, the charge-related stuff. Turner has also resigned, <laughs> or retired, or however you want to word it. Uh, we only have one of the three original captains, um, which sucks. It really does. Uh, not that that has anything to do with you specifically, but what I'm trying to say is, uh, I think you've been put in a pretty rough spot, uh, being the PD uh, liaison, or however it's pronounced. Um, <laughs> I... I don't necessarily know if I would say I would do things differently. I mean, I know I would act differently than you because even if told, um, you know, remain professional, this and that, if I were to have somebody uh, spitting in my face talking about how shit the police department is despite never having spent a day uh, in the environment that we're in and telling us how to do our job despite the fact that we don't have the people to do the job because we don't have a livable pay, like... You know, there are so many things that just go, like, one after another after another. It's a snowball effect uh, of, of reasons as to why we're in the position we're in. Um, yeah. Uh, but 
but in saying that, it's not like you can just approach and be like, yeah, I want our pay to be bumped. Because even if, even if you wanted that, guess what? Only the mayor determines tell me that. to fuck off. Yeah. The, oh, yeah. Well, the mayor's office, which is two people, by the way. The legislation well, does have one that. Well, I'm well aware. And the other person uh, is a okay with all this. That is yeah. one of the biggest issues that's oh, come uh, out of Oh, trust me. I'm going to have words. Because I know uh, from speaking to people at City Hall that the deputy mayor position was not designed to be a lackey for the mayor, which is what it has been to this point. Correct me if I'm wrong. The deputy mayor was the first loser. Correct. Which means that they were against each other. Allegedly. I'm just saying, how many more weeks is he the mayor? Uh, the election should kick off in the next two weeks. And then okay. on the 20th, it'll be the official three month. Uh, would I think, I don't know this for sure, but the 20th of April should be when the new council is uh, voted in. Or the okay. results are read. Perfect. Is there not a more opportune time for the deputy mayor to show his true colors? Uh, he is showing his true colors, which is total loyalty and alignment with the existing mayor. <laughs> so you say that. You say that, but but remember what put him in, in this position. He lost. He wanted to be the mayor. He didn't become the mayor. He was then places the deputy mayor. I'm just saying there exists a possibility he could be the mayor if he plays his cards right. And if he wants to sit here and agree with everything that Mr. Thoroughbred has done, I will make it clear to everybody that it is... I, I'm not kidding. I just found this out while speaking with Barrett. I'm, uh, you know, comb through everything at... Well, I say comb through, but like quick glance, skim, you know, see exactly what powers they hold. And the moment it said mayor's office, and then it specifically indicated mayor and deputy mayor, what happens if they disagree? Can they even follow through with something? A PD was, you mean? Yeah. Uh, according to the legislation, I, I don't know, but the, the issue is not that they've disagreed on anything. The issue is that they have agreed on quite literally everything. Uh, I've had a conversation with somebody specifically regarding Simone, um, and I think we collectively agreed that uh, he, he is like a chihuahua. Uh, very much so, I'll bark, uh, you know. I definitely used to bite. Teeny, teeny bites, bites yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's, to me, he doesn't cross me as a very confrontational person, which is why no, I think is, yeah. if I were to actually speak with him and get answers from him, he was present when I was being interviewed for, you know, this whole PD continuity plan shit. he was present the entire time and so ultimately when it comes down to like pd related decisions um number one uh if the mayor is doing things without uh him that's problematic in my opinion um but more importantly i think we need to start letting Simone know exactly what's happening and I'm sure he's aware right yeah, but it's it, there's is. a difference between uh sort of being acutely aware of something or like you know sort of not directly keeping an eye on something but just like vaguely paying attention and like being told because when you when you start getting told by people you can't deny that you had these conversations with them especially if you have if you had them with multiple people so I would be I will be rather not you know, I, I will be having these conversations with Simone because I want to know his actual thoughts. If he tells, if he can look me straight in the face and say, "I believe you guys deserve making six fifty an hour or whatever the fuck it is," I'll take that. I will take it, and I will know exactly where I stand regarding him, without a doubt. Yeah, the I don't want to burst your bubble before that conversation happens, but the chief the assistant chief and myself already had a conversation with him. Uh, a long conversation. Uh-huh. And uh, <clears throat> when we left that conversation, I was not left uh, very enthusiastic about his opinions or his ability to act. Uh, because the mayor legislated himself, uh, our head. I voted against it. 
And uh, the deputy mayor in that meeting still asked, I don't understand why everyone is so upset with Max. Uh, here's the reality. I was not opposed to it. Uh, in saying that, though, right, if he's saying we need oversight, he should not be sole oversight. That's problematic. Um, it begs but, the question, why do we have a chief but not a commissioner yet? Wait, why did that? Wasn't it for commissioner? It was, and then they switched it to chief under the guise that a commissioner would be inputted at a later date, and it never was. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, either way, my my whole thing becomes like, again, I haven't seen this side of Simone, so again, I wish to sit in front of him and ask him flat out what his thoughts are. And I know exactly how the conversation's gonna go, oddly enough. He's gonna go, well, you know, um, if PD were to do X, Y, no, that's not what I'm asking. That's what do you believe we should be paid? And he's going to go and run back to Max and Max is going to be like, oh my God, it's Rhodes and another talk about pay. And remember, 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 it's, it, it isn't about getting our pay increase as much as it is figuring out who I might be voting for in the future. That's the reality. Well, I can tell you three people right now that I will categorically not be voting for. Uh, Siobhan, Max, and Simone. Correct. <laughs> and I would, I would implore every single officer who, uh, well, I'll be honest. I don't know if you're aware of this. There are a handful of people who are quite fond of the mayor and his wife and, uh, will continue to be that way up until the point where they can no longer get anything of substance out of them. Uh, you mean Cornwood and how he has his job? Uh, not just Cornwood, but, uh, other people. Okay. Um, but I would hope, and I said this to Barrick, I said we need to have a large-scale meeting in which the whole PD figures out what our priorities are for the next election, and we need to figure out who's going to reflect those the most uh, in this next iteration of the, of the council. Because... Yeah. I sort of understand how Max was able to get in office this time. He got a lot of votes. Everyone was still very fragmented before this last election. Everyone had kind of just moved back and was getting settled, and no one really knew what was going on, and nobody was really working a lot, and there was a whole lot of moving parts. Uh, I think it will be a lot more feasible to get us to vote as a block, provided we can actually agree on something, which, as you know, in your long history as a member of the PD is a lot easier said than done, but I can't imagine a lot of people are happy that their pay is adjusted uh, based on whether or not someone is given a traffic ticket or whether or not someone retwats something. And if they want a continuation of that, <laughs> then they would vote for one of those three people. Yeah, I... <laughs> Man, I don't know. I'm just reading through this, this uh, legislation with the police continuity plan, and I start seeing things like you know, example of powers that they reserve but are not limited to. And it's it's like structural things, but not day-to-day -day stuff. In fact, it even says directly refer any emergent personnel issues to the head of the Bar Association for Civilian Oversight Board consideration. But to me, that would imply that he cannot do anything on his own. Right? Uh, repeat that? I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm, I'm looking over the powers that the mayor's office reserves, right? Yep. And obviously, you know, but not limited to. And it talks about the initiation of the eventual commissioner, um, right. the initiation of the chief of police, the formation of other law enforcement departments. Uh, and lastly, and for me, this is a big one, directly refer any emergent personnel issues to the head of the Bar Association for Civilian Oversight Board consideration. Right. Would that not imply that he can't do it himself if he has to direct it to uh, the well, Civilian Oversight Board? In some instances, yes, but that's where that language of but not limited to comes in. While it doesn't mean unlimited, it means that that list is not finite, which means there are other powers under his purview that... Right, but we'll only ever find out if it gets challenged. And this is another thing that I was going to say to you, and uh, it's going to sound harsh on some people, uh... But my position on that council was completely compromised and crippled the second those captains let him overrule Ruth for Cornwood's removal on that high command panel. <laughs> You're not wrong. 
And, You're not wrong. And that's another thing I don't think people understand. And I know it sounds like I'm saying, oh, woe is me. Uh, 